This video is brought to you by the NVIDIA Shield, the device to rule the living room with 4K streaming, advanced gaming, and Android TV. When it comes to professional competition, there's no shortage of enduring games from which to choose. This is an $800,000 game. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 esports games. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the million dollar match. For this list, we'll be delving into the world of electronic sports, both past and present, in order to highlight those games and series that have a clear presence in the professional gaming space. From fighting games to first-person shooters, we found these titles to speak a great deal about the draw of esports. That ball is up three. Five under trying to make a play. Kronobi just needs to let it touch the four, but Gambit's going to be there as well. Tries to keep it in play. Eight goes Kyle! 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 No! Kyle! 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 Number 10, Smite. It's game number five in the grand finals. $1.3 million going to the victor, and we are underway! Why don't we let the gods do the killing for once? A multiplayer online battle arena game, or MOBA for short. Smite pits two teams of three to five against one another in a battle for dominance. Level 17 on Andy, level 18 on Barra, level 18 on Stealth, level 18 on Omegatron, and they're fighting in the level 11s on the side of Titan. With the first Smite World Championships being hosted in January 2015, the game's blend of moment-to-moment -moment MOBA strategy and intense third-person gameplay is steadily gaining a place in eSports. It certainly pays well. The championships had a prize pool of around 2.6 million. At the time, the third highest in eSports. And they're gonna go for it! Ladies and gentlemen! Champions! Got you prize! Number 9, Halo Series. At this time, as All Might Warriors push and close, that's gonna open up the kill for lunchbox. From its not-so-humble origins, this first-person shooter franchise made its mark in competitive gaming. Countless tournaments have arisen in the years following 2001's Halo Combat Evolved, taking advantage of the wide variety of weapons and unique maps on tap. Alrighty, so Camo Rockets gets naded and he's getting hunted down here by Neighbor and wow. Hysteria. Perfect execution! Series developer 343 Industries has even organized their own official esports league, the Halo Championship Series, whose flagship game is Halo 2 Anniversary. With intense first-person action and a mix of competitive and cooperative modes, the Halo games have earned their place as a staple of esports. Looking for the victory, and they're the HCS Season 1 Champion! Number 8, Pokemon Series. And we are going right into battle. The trainers have selected their leads, and we are about to get right into this. In this case, it's less about catching them all and more about fighting them all. The Pokemon games, designed around capturing and training a team of varied element-based creatures, has found a notable place in the tournament circuit. The Kangaskhan is going to switch out, but trying to get the return on that Kangaskhan there, but Adib correcting, correctly predicting that. The game's easy to understand, difficult to master design comes into play, as competing players work hard to craft balanced teams of Pokemon. However, you know, Rock Slide's good against one Pokemon and Earthquake's good against the other, so Garchomp can't really deal with both of them at the same time, so... Tournaments focus on player versus player matches, playing each person's team against one another. Mixing split-second decision-making by players with careful planning, it can be as challenging as it is fun. And you know it's authentic too, since the Pokémon World Championship League is officially run by Nintendo. Alex's Kangaskhan is going to get the return. Very fitting, Kangaskhan gets the final knockout here. Number 7, Quake 2. This first-person shooter by id Software lives on in the history of esports. Building on the mechanics of its predecessor, Quake 2 features a multiplayer suite that includes free-for-all battles, a cooperative campaign, and a one-versus-one -one mode. It's that last mode that has seen notable use in official tournaments, such as the Cyber Athlete Professional League, a key pioneer in professional gaming. Long before anyone ever used the term esports, players were fragging each other for cash in iconic maps like The Edge. <laughs> Number 6, Call of Duty series. You certainly don't fight alone in these games. Ever since 2007's release of Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, games in the Call of Duty series have been featured in major league gaming tournaments. Ladies and they're gonna go for the quick scope, not gonna happen. Big T stays up, shuts down phase heist. Likely appealing for its fast-paced gunplay and customizable classes, these first-person shooters were adopted as the games of choice by esports teams such as Optic Gaming. Now, uh, Optic Gaming just on a roll. Scump starting off 4-0, obviously, with that ace round. One nade picking up two that round. The prominence of Call of Duty has reached such heights that, at the 2014 Austin X Games, an invitational tournament for Call of Duty Ghosts was held. First kills, and then after that, they're just going to trade them out. You saw two easy kills at the beginning by Crib. Number 5, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Players are really close oh, to each other, and then Mango oh, again just standing up smash like yes. he does. 
Oh, poor Amsa, but <laughs> good job out. by Mango. Great Solid match. Up, yeah. Nintendo's famed crossover brawler has seen its fair share of tournaments. First and foremost, annual tournaments for Melee were hosted by Major League Gaming from 2004 to 2007, with the later MLG tournaments sponsored as part of an underground Smash series. Double jab, got the knockdown, the tech chase, set it down, Smash, two stocks each! Looking good. SSBM has also drawn the attention of tournaments such as Apex and Evolution Championship Series. It's even the biggest event at the annual EVO Fighting Games Tournament. Given that Melee has been noted for having fast-paced and precision-centric combat, as well as a diverse stable of characters, it's often the preferred Smash Brothers game over the latter versions for the pros. Oh man, this could... And that it. is the destruction! Number 4, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. They may be able to pick this one up, but Flaren's right there. They need to go for the defeat. Oh, oh where shit, do you... Oh, oh no! As the most recent installment of the Counter-Strike series, Global Offensive refined the established terrorist versus counter-terrorist formula with a dedicated competitive mode and ranking system. Not only are there numerous third-party tournaments for Global Offensive, but co-developer Valve actually organizes its own series of events, known as the Majors. Welcome to the ESO1 Katowice Finals! As of March 2015, tournaments for the game have awarded over 3.8 million in prize money. Whoa. Alone, and there it is, Fnatic, they claim Dust 2. Number 3, StarCraft 2. GG! Live! An unbelievable recovery in this best of seven! Whether siding with the Protoss, Terrans, or the Zerg, the enjoyable challenge of Blizzard's famed real-time strategy exists for all players. Though the 1998 real-time strategy game StarCraft was a key title in professional gaming for years, its 2010 sequel proved to be a worthy successor. Dancing and playing with fire here is life. So few defensive units if these Hellions were to dart into a mineral line. The unique balance between all three playable races and the addition of new units for each made for a worthwhile change of pace. Along with its national acceptance in North Korea, StarCraft II has been featured in tournaments such as DreamHack, Major League Gaming, and even Blizzard's own World Championship Series. Better than this, it looks like he's even going to be able to clean up the rest of these Zerglings. These Marines have got to have at least 10 kills apiece. Number two, Dota 2. S4 sitting on the back line, so they got Strat gives them the vision. PPD, one hit from RTZ with a Stormball combo. They move over to Fear and Static Link. Well, it is currently on RTZ. What began as a sequel to the Defense of the Ancients mod for Warcraft 3 is now a major name in its own right. Dota 2 falls into the MOBA genre, centered around two five person teams fighting to destroy the opposing team's structure, herein known as an Ancient. AG will take it! 65 minutes and an epic battle! Starting with Valve sponsoring the International Annual Tournament Series, Dota 2 has risen to popularity as one of the most played and most profitable esports in the world. From appearances in the Electronic Sports League to a dedicated series of championships in Asia, the game has secured its place in history. The shot's given the he vision, the snowball in! He actually got him on the cliff side! How did he find him? Well, what more can help that answer that question? It's a triple kill variety! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The best deals anywhere. Two dead crew. He's got a broken gun. Look at his aiming circle. It is as big as a friggin' watermelon on his screen. How is he going to be able to handle this situation? Ramming. Ramming oh. speed. Oh, oh, oh. What is that? <laughs> oh. Changes timing a little bit. Oh, Tokido screwed it up. Hit the ball on block. Oh, here we go. Oh, he didn't juggle. Number one, League of Legends. All tremble before the League, for it is mighty. In all seriousness, Riot Games' MOBA title League of Legends has grown astoundingly popular in the year since its release. To a best of five to decide whose name will go on the trophy here. The game's focus on player control champions banding together to destroy the other team's nexus structures has blossomed into the basis for numerous regional tournaments, with its 2013 championship completely selling out the Staples Center in LA. With Riot Games organizing the League of Legends Championship Series and other companies establishing tournaments of their own, viewership and prize money regularly numbers in the millions. Nexus tour is falling down, the crowd going wild here in the spot as Team Solo mid pick up game number one of the Intel Extreme Masters. 
Do you agree with our list? Battled through an intense circuit to get to where we are now. What's your favorite esports game? <laughs> For more sporting top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. This video is brought to you by the NVIDIA Shield, the device to rule the living room with 4K streaming, advanced gaming, and Android TV.